Seven things poor people do that the rich don't. Number one, poor people watch TV, and rich people read books. How many hours you spend in front of the TV, and when was the last fucking time you read a book? How many books do you read per year? Number two, poor people get paid based on time. Rich people get paid based on results. Let's say you're working at McDonald's. You may be the best floor cleaner on the planet ever, but what value do you bring to McDonald's? Rich people, we get paid based on results, not time invested. Let's say we're working on a product. We spend a year creating, perfecting the product. We bring it to the marketplace, and it sucks. It bombs. It doesn't make us a dime. The world doesn't give a fuck. We don't make money. Nobody cares how much time, blood, sweat, and tears we put into creating a product and bring it to the marketplace. How much risk that we take. They don't care. What they care is results. That's why the highest pay athletes in the world. They don't get paid by how many hours they practice, how many times they invested. No, it is how much they perform. They get paid based on performance. Number three, poor people they blame others for their misfortunes. Rich people, we take responsibility for our own failures. You see, for poor people, it's always somebody else's fault. It's the economy. It's the government. It's my boss. It's my job. It's my city. It's my neighbor. It's my friends. It's always somebody else. It's never their own fucking fault. Rich people, we take responsibility. If your life stinks, it's your fault. We take responsibility for our own action. When you take responsibility, what happens is you gain power, the power to change, the power to do something different. Remember, lame people blame people. Number four, poor people focus on saving, and rich people focus on investing. You know what? Don't drink that Starbucks coffee in the morning. Try to save a few dollars and here there. Well, you know, don't fly first class. Fly economy. Always try to save a few dollars. Well, here's the thing: a penny saved is still a fucking penny. You're not gonna get rich by trying to save a few bucks. You don't have a saving problem. You have an income problem. You need to earn a lot more money so you could invest. Number five: poor people they know it all. Rich people continuously to learn. You see, poor people are always very opinionated. They always want to tell the world about their opinions, about politics, about sports, about the society, about the government, about every single thing that's around them. Versus being humble. Willing to learn, rich people we're always learning. We're asking questions. We are listening. We are reading books. Continuous learning, versus saying that I've got an opinion about fucking everything. You know why they always have an opinion? Poor people, because the only way to get a little bit of fucking attention. No different. I can see doesn't count. Remember, your income can only grow to the extent that you do. Your wealth can only grow. As fast as you do. Number six, poor people believe that money is the root of all evil. Rich people, we believe that poverty is the root of all evil. You've heard of the saying, "Money is the root of all evil." No, lack of money is the root of all evil. I want you to look at the poorest neighborhoods. I want you to think about those areas: crime, drug problems, all kinds of issues. You see, in the history of mankind, no bank's been robbed by someone pulling up in a Rolls Royce. It is the survival, is the lack of money that's causing the issue. Money itself is neutral. Money is like a tool; you can use it for good or you can use it for evil. It is all up to you. Number seven: Poor people they have lottery mentality, and rich people we have action mentality. You see, most people they believe the only way to get rich is buying that lottery ticket, even though they know that the chance of winning is slim to none. But they buy that fantasy. Hopefully, if I win, I'm gonna buy that house. I'm gonna quit that job. I'm gonna take that vacation. No, rich people have an action mentality. We believe if it's going to be, it believe if it's going to be, it is up to me. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make myself successful. 
I don't need to rely on some third party and I definitely don't need to rely on some lottery ticket. I'm going to make it happen. So those are the seven things that poor people do that the rich don't.